Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. You know, after so many years of doing At Your Leisure, we, and all these special Thanksgiving shows, we didn't know how to top it. So we decided we're gonna start this one off with a bang. And we have a lot to be thankful for. We are going to go on a travel adventure in the only remaining ATV trail in Salt Lake County. And also, we're gonna see what Reese Stein has been doing in South America. That guy is everywhere. Thanksgiving is officially underway. <laughs> At your leisure. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm Alicia Staten, and today I'm here with my AYL family, and we're looking back on some of the things that we want to give thanks. Hey guys, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for freedom of thought, and that we live in a nation where you can pursue an education and discover the mysteries of the universe. I am thankful that I live in a country where you can follow your dreams, where the free enterprise system is alive and well, and people can aspire to make a life better than they started with. I'm thankful for living in a country where we have freedom of religion and we are free to worship as we choose. Welcome to At Your Leisure for our Thanksgiving special. I'm thankful right off the bat that we actually met up here I in know. this intersection. <laughs> Absolutely, but you know what? I'm mostly thankful for, this is the place, Heritage Park, which is a part of the Utah State Park System for keeping the amazing restoration of the history of the state. Yeah. That's true, and, and this is the place for our Thanksgiving show. We thought it really appropriate. You know, a lot of people think of this as the place is strictly about the Mormon pioneers, but as you walk these streets, you see a history and a culture of a variety of people that came and made their mark early in the state's history. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's really surprising the diversity of buildings and things that they have here, because you have churches, you have homes, you have businesses, and all different types. It's not one or the other. It's almost like this entire community was just transplanted from the past, and you can come and visit it today. Yeah, I think the authenticity is awesome. Really, I mean, you come in here and you really feel like you were walking the streets back in the Well, it's because the buildings are old. There are buildings that have come from every corner of this state that they took apart piece by piece and brought here and put them back together Definitely, to create yeah. a permanent living museum. Well, we are gonna to tour this for our Thanksgiving show today, give you a little sample of what a great, great day of recreation you can spend with your family up here at This Is The Place. That's right, but first we've gotta go off to our travel adventure. Just south of us in the Salt Lake Valley, there is one existing ATV trail in this area. We're so thankful for it that for our Thanksgiving episode, we're gonna show it to you right now. Well, thank you for that wonderful travel adventure. And remember, if you want to go ATVing in the snow, that is fine. Just take it slow. Well, I have a wonderful guest here with us today. This is Cliff Harris, Program Director of this wonderful state park. Cliff, for people like me who were born and raised in Utah and have never laid foot here, how do we get people that actually, to visit this place, the first thing they do? That's a really good question. You know, I tell people all the time, because we hear this a lot, that they've I'm never sure. been here. I tell people all the time, if you go to Rome, you want to make sure to visit the Vatican. If you come to Salt Lake City, you want to make sure to see Temple Square and make sure you come and see where it all started. This was the gateway to where all of the settlers that came through the Salt Lake Valley came through this canyon, Immigration Canyon. So the Mormon pioneers, the Donner Party, anybody that came here from the West was coming through this passageway. About 1847 to 1869 would be the dates for most of these buildings here. This is the place. Most of them are original structures that were relocated here, taken apart and then put back together here. And then some are replica buildings that were built in honor of where the original building stood in the original Utah Territory. So when people bring their families here, it's really fun for everybody because there's all kinds of activities, right? There's a lot of things to see and do. We have a livery stable where you can visit with uh, the animals that would have been here with the pioneers, oh, as well as pony rides. We can go shopping in the ZCMI store. You can card wool, you can knit, you can make a quilt. There's, there's a lot of things to see and do all day, every day. Well, you heard it from the man himself. If you have not brought your family out here, you need to do so, especially around the holiday season. But right now we have to take a quick commercial break. 
Welcome back to our Thanksgiving special. Obviously, if there's something that moves, this group of four's got to be on it. <laughs> and at, this is the place, Heritage Park, part of the state park system. They got this really cool train. And uh, you guys are up there uh, watching us from the coal car behind the locomotive, and we're in car number one. We are in car what number What are you eating? One. Well, they offer all kinds of different wonderful things here, but one of them is the saltwater taffy, which is an original from Utah, the chocolate covered wagon. I prefer the candy nuts if you can pass those over. Uh, you know what? I ate them all. Sorry. Well, speaking of food, Reagan is with Matt in the Camp Chef kitchen, showing you some great Thanksgiving accessories to use. Take a look. Welcome back to Extra Leisure, everybody. I am in the blacksmith shop and I am working the bellows right now, something I never thought that I would ever do. And I am here with Brian, who is the blacksmith here at This Is This Place Heritage Park. And he's teaching me how to work with iron. Mm -hmm. So tell me about some of the stuff that we do here. Sure, uh, blacksmiths are very important in the community because like this chisel we're making for the stonemason, we make all the tools for all the trades here in the village. Scalpels for the surgeons, needles and um, pins for the tailors, scissors, shovels, plows, hammers, drills, everything. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to pull this out of the fire and we're going to lay it on the anvil okay. and you're going to take the hammer and you're going to start hammering the end of that flat so it's going to be shaped like the cutting edge of a chisel. So if the TV thing doesn't work out, I can become a blacksmith. <laughs> Something to fall back on yeah. as it were. Okay. So uh-huh. So is this a two-man job then? Um, it can be, especially for really big work. And oftentimes a blacksmith would have an apprentice who's learning the trade as well. So I'm the apprentice. Yeah, we're going to kind of bring that down a little bit. Now we're going to get it hot again. We're going to have you dunk it in the water to cool it off. Look at that, it's red hot. Here we go. Oh, that is killer. And now we have a chisel for somebody in the community to use when they're out working. Brian, thank you so much. Sure, thank you for the help. This is incredible. That was a great experience. All right, well, we got to go to our Trailhead adventure with Reese Stein. And our Trailhead series is brought to you by our friends at Rocky Mountain ATV. You can check them out at RockyMountainATVMC.com. All of your gear, whether you're a motorcycle, ATV, all of it. I'm going to see if I can make some more of these things. So here's Reese Stein. Thanks, Reese, for that great story. Well, we are right here with Diamond Jim Davis, who is our saddle maker here at the Heritage Park. And I'm telling you, he is going to show me how to make leather. Can you really do this in like three minutes? Well, how about if we make something out of leather rather okay. than make leather? How do you make leather, by the way? Oh, that's a long process. It's very odiferous. No one likes to do it. So you start with pieces of leather. Right, there you go. <laughs> I learned to teach you the first lesson of uh, working with leather. Yes. It's called patience. Oh, oh, I have none of that. I'm not going to be a very good apprentice. <laughs> yeah, you missed a strap. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> where, where do we start? Well, let's actually teach you how to start with uh, a swivel knife. I have no patience for this. I can tell. Is it, I mean, is this like an what interactive right thing? Can anybody do this? Yep, yeah, anybody can come in and try their hand at decorating certain things. <laughs> I really should have my glasses on. I'm not kidding. I'm not making excuses. I, I can't see. I got these 50 year old eyes. Okay, so then I just go down like that. Yep, and just keep moving right along your line. There you go. Thank you, Diamond Jim. Look at that beautiful piece of art. Yeah. See, it's a good thing I didn't do this for a living because I would definitely starve. Yeah. You are a real talent. Thanks, Sue. This was really, you really can, fun. You can take that one home, Mara. All right, and I'll make a little keychain out there of it. There you go. Okay, stay with us. We'll be back with more of At Your Leisure. Well, it looks like it's going to be a great show next week. It looks like it's going to be a great feast here in a couple of minutes. The other part of the great show is me actually trying to carve a turkey. <laughs> anyway, we would like to thank the sponsors of At Your Leisure while we're being thankful here. They Definitely. keep us going and they help us stay on the air and they are just a great bunch of people. We love them like they're all family. And we hope that you'll get to know them as well. I have one last thing to be thankful for and that is this great crew. It's been 12 years and we have just had a blast. And Stephen, you've been here through almost all of it. I have. Aww. It's been a so good run. So, and and we appreciate the, the fans and the viewers and our own family. So, from our family to yours, make sure you get out with your family and friends. Enjoy the great outdoors at, at your leisure. leisure. All right, where's my plate?